Bitcoin is right now retesting one of the most crucial levels of resistance of this entire consolidation phase. And in the past 72 hours, over 1.7 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin has changed hands. And I want to be talking about this massive Bitcoin miner capitulation, which is right now over. So I will be discussing this, what this means for the Bitcoin price action in the imminent short term, what it means for the Bitcoin price action overall. And of course, I'm going to be talking about what I expect is going to be happening next year ever since we have seen this lower low getting created here on the daily time frame. So I will be diving in towards all the most important charts, most important data points. So without any further ado, guys, don't forget to once again slap on the like button back above 1000 likes. It will be highly appreciated. And with that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. So first of all, on the imminent short term, what we can currently see is that Bitcoin, of course, first was created again downward sloping trend here and now ever since we are starting to create a higher low structure together with higher highs so the bitcoin price action on the one hour time frame is actually starting to look quite bullish again here and with the most recent high once again we took out the previous high right here which is confirming we are still trading in an ever so slight uptrend so here on the four early time frame you can see that first of all we broke below this very important level of support then actually we started to be bouncing back towards the upside and now we're pushing back higher and i said this in yesterday's video as well as long as we're not breaking below this exact level again here I do not believe there's any big reason to be worrying about Bitcoin right now. But a thing where I am worried about and where I will be paying my close attention towards right now, and this is also a thing I discussed in the previous videos, is this level which previously ran provided resistance right here. But like you can see on this chart, historically has clearly provided many times support, many times got us rejected. And this is the exact level we are currently retesting. So we are retesting one of the largest levels of previous support Board, which right now is of course trading against us as resistance so if bitcoin manages to be breaking about 58,500, which is exactly the level where we're currently hovering around at, we can confirm the breakout above this level. And if the breakout above this level is getting confirmed on the 4 early time frame, guys, we're going to be heading much, much higher. And I believe the bottom is going to be found for Bitcoin and the next push higher and the next push higher is going to be starting from off this point here. So very crucial level to be paying attention towards. And I want you to take this level also very seriously. And a quick thing I want to be saying before diving deeper in towards the charts is that recently I have been doing a lot of on-chain analysis. And honestly, I have said this in many times before, I ultimately think the Bitcoin bull market is going to be continuing. And currently also, if we're just looking at this stage right now here, we have seen massive miner capitulation, which means that a lot of miners have been selling off their Bitcoin positions. And that is, of course, providing a lot of sell pressure in the market. It is adding a lot of new supply back in towards the market. But it looks to be that in already the past two and a half weeks or so, this selling has been stopping. And this is actually a very good thing here because the same happened in the bottom of 2023, 2022. Because the same happened at the FTX crash, which was also the bottom, which was found at the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023. So something similar has happened once again here. And over the most recent hours, and this is actually some breaking news here, because this is literally the last 72 hours, we saw one final push towards the downside. And right now, the supply held by Bitcoin miners is extremely low here. And they sold off over 1.7 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin in just the previous 72 hours. Of course, I posted this yesterday, so it's not exactly 72 hours hours right now but it's clearly showing us something about that the miners are definitely capitulating and it looks to be that they're almost done capitulating on this exact move right here. So very interesting in my opinion. And really, if we're looking at the Bitcoin price action right now on the 12 hour time frame, we can see something big is really happening for Bitcoin right now here. I mean, honestly, we can see that this previous major level of support is once again flipping into support right here. And you can see that we actually broke once again above this level and now flipped it into support. So some great developments happening on Bitcoin right now here. We're starting to see Bitcoin potentially creating a low lower low and then a higher low so somewhat of an inverse head and shoulders pattern so very great to be seeing the price action on bitcoin like this right now also 
we broke above that very important green box of resistance, which in my opinion was of course the most important level of resistance to be breaking above of, like I said in many videos before. And since we broke above it, it is actually looking quite good for Bitcoin. And of course, yesterday we had some negative flows on the ETF, but I don't really think that this is going to be all too big of a matter. And yeah, if we're still looking at the fear and greed index, we can see that still the market is extremely fearful. But just like I said in previous videos, currently the market is as fearful as it was back in January 2023, which marked the exact market bottom from the bear market. So you have to understand that first we were seeing euphoric levels around these uh, prices where we're trading at, and now we are in extreme fear levels, which is very interesting to be seeing. Extreme fear is getting hit in the market while indeed we're trading above 55,000 US dollars. So think about this and please do not forget it then also still the funding rates remain to be negative and this is something you have to understand i will be repeating myself about the funding rates many many times more in the upcoming bull market because the funding rates is one of the best indicators to really see okay if the market is going to be going up or if the market is going to be reversing because yes whenever the funding rates are negative it means the majority of the traders are trading short and whenever that is happening we tend to see major short squeezes so we can see it also on this chart right here the funding rates have been negative for quite some while right now here and actually every single time this has been stayed so negative for such a long time we have seen a rally towards the upside so i am thinking another rally is going to be inevitable for bitcoin since the funding rates have been staying so low for such a long time here so this is a thing you should definitely not ignore and i repeated this and I talked about this many, many times before, and I will be repeating myself about this because this is just such an important fundamental thing you need to be understanding about the markets right now here. And honestly, for Bitcoin right now here in terms of my trade, of course, I would have loved to open up a trade on 50k. Unfortunately, Bitcoin did not go down to 50k, so I have not opened up my 2 million US dollar Bitcoin trade here. But still, like I said in many videos before, I am potentially still going to be opening up a massive Bitcoin trade if I start to see the reversal on the daily time frame. And for me to call the reverse on the daily time frame, I will quickly go to this chart. And basically what I want to be saying is that I will only open up a new major position on Bitcoin whenever I see either Bitcoin come down towards my level of 50,000 to 48k, because that is a level in my personal opinion in interest, or if Bitcoin tends to be breaking above the previous high, breaking the major structure, and then on the next retest of support, which is probably going to be this level right here, open up also that position. position. So uh, it's not about really rushing it towards a position for me, it's more about seeing how the market develops, and if the market develops in a positive way, I'm going to be taking a position in the market. Market. So yeah, really still waiting to see what is going to be happening next year, because still in the bigger perspective, we're trading in a massive downtrend here. So extremely excited about how this is going to be playing out here. But currently, we can see that Bitcoin is still trading in the bull flag pattern. We exactly bounced from the lower side of the bull flag pattern, which we have done in many previous occasions as well here. And yeah, really the moment where we're going to be breaking above this major, major downward slope and resist line on the top side is the point where we're going to be seeing that next major breakout take place for Bitcoin. So currently we're still in this massive monthly consolidation phase which we are exactly trading above the previous autumn high of but currently we can see we're trading above this major consolidation phase we're creating a falling wedge pattern and the breakout is just going to be imminent any moment right now here and yeah on the bigger perspective on the weekly time frame you can see right here bitcoin is just creating a massive cup and handle pattern and whenever the cup and handle pattern or you can call it an inverse and a shoulders pattern with the left shoulder head and right shoulder Whenever we break the neckline, in any case, guys, um, it is going to be ultimately super bullish for Bitcoin. And, and this is inevitably going to be happening. And whenever this happens, we're going to be seeing major, major major moves towards the upside. Then the last thing I want to be discussing is that yesterday the US CPI came in at 2.5%, which is of course significantly lower than the previous reading, and that is of course a very great thing for the market. And right now basically if we're going to be looking at the rate cuts, it is like 100% guaranteed that we're at least going to be seeing a rate cut for the next meeting, and what is most likely is going to be happening is that we're going to be seeing 150 basis points rate cuts already in 2024. So the Fed is starting to uh, loosen the monetary policy quite significantly in the upcoming months here. And this is ultimately going to be extremely, extremely bullish for the Bitcoin price action, for other companies as well here. So very great to see this finally happening. And uh, yeah, this is probably also further going to be having a good influence on the markets 
in my opinion. And then also, looking quickly at poly markets, Trump is not leading anymore here uh, since the recent debate here. But yeah, of course, anything can still happen in my opinion if we're going to be looking at the US election forecast. We do know one thing, and that is that in my opinion, it doesn't necessarily matter who is exactly going to be winning. Because one thing for certain is that every single time whenever we do get a US election, we tend to see massive rallies across not only Bitcoin, but also in the stock market. So do with this information whatever you want to be doing with. But I do believe that we're going to be having some extremely good months ahead of ourselves. So this is it for me in today's of the video. If you did enjoy it, if you did like it, if you did learn something from it, don't forget to slap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.